Hi, welcome to Any Gold Dad. I'm Mark. Today we're going to be fitting an auto reverser by block signaling to my reversing loop on the layout. So what is an auto reverser? What does it do? Well, quite simply, it reverses the priority of the power going through your track. So when you have your track wired up, my convention is I have red for the positive and black for the negative. On my circuit here, I keep black to the back. So I always know going around it, that black, the negative wire is towards the back. Now, when you have a reversing loop, that simply goes around and comes back on itself. So when you have the wires connected to that, you've got to remember that the rails are continuing on the circuit of the power. So when you put your locomotive on, the power goes up the rail, through the wheels and the pickups, through the motor, makes it spin, makes the engine move and returns through the wheels, pickups, back through the rail again. So if we look at a diagram of a normal circuit. So here's a simple diagram of a simple oval. I highlighted each rail red for positive, black for negative, and as you can see all the way around the black stays on the outside and the red stays on the inside. So there's no problem. The power will keep going around, the train will keep running. Here we can see with a reversing loop how the circuit goes all the way around and goes back on itself through a point. And if we follow the black line around, which is the negative, we can see how when it gets back to the point, it's now on the inside. And conversely, the red line is now on the outside. So when you flick the point over, it's going to cause a short and your engines are going to stop and your system's going to show a fault. So simply with the DCC auto reverser, simple to fit, you supply a track feed to this and then you make an isolating section with some uh, plastic fish plates. So this section is isolated. You take power supply into your auto reverser and then two wires from this onto the track. And simply when a loco is coming along here, it will recognize it's going to call the short within milliseconds and will reverse the priority of the feed to allow the loco to proceed. And it will do this all before your DCC system recognizes the fault. Now this is for DCC. You can also get these for DC as well. So let's go ahead and fit it on the circuit. So this is my reversing loop here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this section of track here, replace the fish plates with plastic fish plates, solder two droppers onto here to connect to the auto reverser, and then the other two lines from the auto reverser will connect onto the main bus wire underneath. There's that section of track now prepared. If you look on the end, we have the plastic fish plates on there. If you don't have plastic fish plates, you could simply just cut a gap in the rail, like using the Dremel type tool. I've soldered on two droppers onto it, which will be connected to the auto reverser. So let's just fit those in place now. So here we have the auto reverser wired in. Two wires go into the isolated section of track. Remember, both rails need to have isolated joiners on them. And the power is coming up through the baseboard from the bus wire into the little unit. So now when we run a train, let's send a, a loco around now. You should see it working and the light should flick over when the priority of the rails change. There we go, quite a successful test. So that shows that it's working. I don't know if you were able to pick up 
the lights flicking over to show the priority changed. So that means that will stop any shorts happening when you're running your locals around. So I hope you find that useful, how to wire in an auto reverser on your reverse and loop. The one I've got here, I purchased off Block Signaling. Um, I'll link their website down below. Uh, they do a lot of uh, DCC products and analog DC products as well. They're well worth having a look at. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.